2023, cruise control to 1.5 degrees Celsius. All of the other trends played against the backdrop of climate change. 2023 was the hottest year in history. June through August was the world's hottest three-month period in recorded history, with July averaging 2 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.1 degrees Celsius, hotter than last century. Europe, Asia, and North America suffered record heat waves that fueled deaths, wildfires, disrupted essential services, and caused agricultural losses. India and Pakistan suffered their hottest years on record. 2023, the earth burned and cracked. Devastating wildfires burnt Lahaina, Maui, Hawaii to the ground, killing at least 100 people. Massive wildfires broke out in Spain, Portugal, France, Greece displacing thousands. Canada suffered a wildfire season that saw the most area burned in its history and North American history and in South America, Chile lost hundreds of thousands of acres to a wildfire in its central region. The pollution from wildfires was so bad that it nullified two decades of air quality improvement as well as increased the snowballing of carbon emissions. The heat produced intense drought as well. The southwest U.S. and northern Mexico suffered their driest period in 1,200 years impacting livestock, agriculture and drinking water supplies in the hardest-hit areas. Mexico City introduced water usage restrictions as drought and its overexploitation of groundwater supplies resulted in shortages. The Horn of Africa continued its worst drought in 40 years resulting in dislocation, widespread hunger and deaths. Droughts across Europe including France, Spain and Italy resulted in water restrictions and lowered crop productivity. Rather than facing droughts, other places were afflicted with a surfeit of water. 2023, inundated. Libya suffered a catastrophic flood that destroyed the city of al -Baida. The flood was caused by an aberrantly strong storm Daniel that not only caused flooding in Libya, but flooding and damages in Greece, Turkey, and Bulgaria. Australia suffered severe flooding in Queensland while California saw flooding that recreated Tulare Lake and inundated thousands of acres of farmland. Hurricane Otis destroyed Acapulco with the superheated ocean waters caused by warming hyper-accelerating the hurricane to Category 5 strength right on impact with the city. Rebuilding is still a slow process to date. The Caribbean was battered with over 20 named tropical storms, the fourth highest number since 1950. 2023, cruise control to 3.0 degrees Celsius. And lastly, COP28 fails to produce any meaningful progress on the elimination of fossil fuels with a non-enforceable pledge to transition off fossil fuels in 2050. Implementation and enforcement of this pledge is left to each country with no monitoring or enforcement mechanism. AI analysis has concluded this delay in transitioning will cause a number of severe climate-related impacts to the world and its economy.